Lee. Tom, great to have you on the show. It was a down day for the major averages, but we still managed to eke out gains here. I want to get your thoughts on the levels, especially given the fact that so many folks are bearish, but you are not. Uh, yes, I mean, it's. Uh, I would say this is a week where the bullish narrative succeeded because we had some decent inflation prints. Uh, you know, we've had some market sell-off in the middle of the week because of Fed commentary and the FOMC minutes about a recession potentially. But the stock market actually ended up higher for the week. And I think it just shows that as much as sort of a logic and intuition tell people that we're going to have a recession, um, number one, earnings have actually delivered better. I mean, we had some good bank earnings today. In fact, uh, if you look at two-year stacked, earnings are still up over where they were two years ago. So part of this, what people call an earnings recession is just because earnings were so good last year. And uh, the market's up 8% year to date. So you know now we've had two consecutive quarters of gains. It's never happened in a bear market since 1950. So I know it doesn't feel like it, but it, I think it's really a bullish narrative that's driving markets right now. You did have Fed minutes this week too, and it was forecasted uh, in those that the Fed is expecting this banking crisis to uh, potentially lead to, lead to a mild recession. Does that give you any pause in terms of how you're thinking about the rest of the year? Uh, I mean, it, it does and it doesn't. I think, you know, investors may have overreacted to the Fed staffers saying there's a recession. Number one, uh, you know, that's the staffers, and that's not necessarily a revelation given how much the, you know, the consensus view has been that we're entering a recession. And just keep in mind, these are the Fed staffers, not the voting members. And, you know, last year, there there was a lot of talk that the Fed staffers uh, could have had some sort of potential clerical errors because of a Haver Analytics hack. So I, I wouldn't say that these are the word of God coming. And more importantly, I, I think it's appropriate for the Fed to be cautious uh, and to keep in mind that there's a recession, because at the end of the day, that's going to affect the, the way they actually... Uh, affect monetary policy. So, I mean, I hate to say it, but it's not entirely bad news. This would put a ceiling on where rates end up peaking, and that's actually what's important to markets.